let me get from you, Mr. John Bakuro. We just saw a video of two uh, unarmed, you know, so unarmed civilians being shot by separatists. The same people who claim uh, to be protecting the population, of course, execute them on live uh, video. Uh, at this point, Mr. John Bakuro, what do you think is the impact of this? you know, uh, action on the population and to the crisis. Are we moving towards a solution or is it aggravating a really um, delicate situation on the ground? Yes, um, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Big Bang. And uh, my regards to all the panelists. I suppose you're able to, to hear me well. Uh, I should like begin by pointing a clear finger where it deserves to be pointed. You see, I've listened to uh, my sister Vivian and I listened to Metro Lizinge. I also listened to Miss Andiwum. I'm delighted to hear some of the things that they said, but I want to make this first correction. Number one, I'm not an Anglophone. Perhaps some some are. I'm a Southern Cameroonian. And I want, oh, I always want us to take it from that premise. I'm a Southern Cameroonian. Anglophone Northwest, Southwest is a construct of La Republic du Cameroon that led to the creation of the issues that we are facing today. And then again, one of the people clearly responsible for what happened to those boys in Guzang is seated with you right there in the studio. I can see him, I mean, with his chin resting on his hand. Mr. Kedia Robert knows very clearly that he and people like him are responsible for what happened to those guys in Busan for the simple reason that you know that by mobilizing innocent civilians and sending them to go playing the dangerous game of being informants to a government that is determined to kill its people, you are putting them in harm's way. Because, you see, I was filled with consternation, with anger and frustration when I saw those executions until I saw Mr. Kedia on uh, Equinox television posting that we are the people of the black-led community. We cooperate, collaborate with the government, with government forces to show the high doubts of the Amber fighters. Then you should understand that when you get into that, you take innocent or armed civilians to go do the job of the military. You transform them into targets. Let's be clear about it. I like to call a spade a spade. You transform them into legitimate targets. Because when you hear Mr. Kedia boast, the military don't know how to get to the camps. We take them there. They don't know how to get to the bushes to get to all of those places. We take them there. So, rather than have a young man like Kedia and the other uh, 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 people who call themselves a CPDM elite and all of those things like the Mbela Moki Charles calling in to organize I mean talks right, to move to the negotiation table so we can have a definitive solution to the problem they rather link up with that government to kill people who are protesting for their rights who are fighting for their rights and therefore those people will tell you tomorrow that they are acting in self-defense. Because if they don't kill this guy, these guys will get them put. That's exactly what it is. I express anger, frustration, and every kind of thing against this act. But when I watched Mr. Kedia, I said, there is absolutely something here. This begins to add up. It is a shame. It's despicable that we should actually take ourselves right to this level. When we talk about separation, there's no such thing as you know, separatists across the world, the, when a people get up and they say we don't want to belong to a certain setup, what happens? They give them the opportunity to express themselves. Metro Lizinge will tell you that the people of uh, 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 is it a, 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 a Scotland? I'm, I'm, I'm actually forgetting. Have had the opportunity to hold referendum two times to determine whether they want to be part of the United Kingdom or not. We have seen the people of Quebec in Canada. They have had the occasion at least twice or more or more times to hold referendum peacefully to determine whether they want to be 
part of Canada or an independent country. Now, when the people of the same people who came freely into some unfortunate union with La Republic, get the best to just return to the federal system that we agreed to to come together, they get killed. And when the people are saying, okay, we want to opt out of this union, it becomes war. It was never war from, from the beginning. Should never have been war. And it should never be war. And now you look at this. Uh, um, I, I really like to uh, give accolades to uh, Sister Vivian for pointing out that the post came on motion and killed the human being alive.